thousand five hundred was the most expensive. Over a grand on an outfit. Yeah. Flipping and you're heck. going there on Saturday. Aren't I know. You? Well, I'm going to wear a dress I've already got. I've got a grand <laughs> to buy one. <laughs> oh, on the cost of grand. Whew. I'm amazed by that. Oh, I feel very underdressed, won't I? Right. Let's have a little look at some pictures. We'll quickly uh, whistle through. In the first one, another beautiful sunset. We've had some lovely ones this uh, uh, this week uh, over Coal Aston, west of Sheffield. The second picture, Howden Reservoir, which apparently is directly behind Lady Bower Reservoir, and the third, also a reservoir, Red Myers. Uh, near Sheffield. You can keep your pictures coming in. Paul the Weatherman at bbc.co.uk or you can tweet me at Keely Donovan. So tomorrow is going to be uh, quite a similar day to today actually. You start off with quite a lot of cloud and at times it will still be quite cloudy but we should see it brightening up. It will feel increasingly warm and humid through the day as well. Here's the weather front that's causing some real nightmares for the weekend. More on that in a second. I think it will bring us some heavy rain at some point over the weekend. Uh, this is the satellite picture from earlier. We've been mostly dry today. There's been some breaks in the cloud but I think they'll fill in through the course of the evening and it does look rather cloudy through this evening overnight with a little little bit of showery rain out there and just take a look at these temperatures these are the overnight values down to around 17 or 18 degrees so a real warm warm and stuffy night to come so the sun will rise in the morning just before six o'clock setting again at 8:23. your next high water in scarborough at 8:36. So I think we'll start the day on a cloudy, muggy note with some dampness around still. Now, there could be the odd shower through tomorrow, but a lot of dry weather. These graphics make it look quite pessimistic. There will be a lot of dry weather, and there will be some breaks in the cloud as well. Not too dissimilar from today, and these showers will be very well scattered. It might just be a little bit damp at first. The breeze will pick up through tomorrow, moderate southerly, so blowing up warm air from the south. And temperatures in some spots will get up to around 21 to 23 degrees, feeling increasingly humid as well. Now, the week weekend forecast. This could still change, but at the moment, it looks like on Saturday there'll be quite a lot of cloud around, but it will be warm, and the weather front probably won't affect us until later in the day. But when it does push southwards, it could bring some very heavy spells of rain through Sunday, particularly for western and central parts. Showery on Monday. I'll be back with the latest on the weekend forecast uh, later on, and tomorrow as well. Thanks, Kelly. You know, you ladies prove every single night. It's not what you wear, it's how you wear it. <laughs> oh, you? thank you, Isn't Harry. Isn't he nice? Oh, Good. yes. The 10,000 posts. Really, really creepy and crawly, that wasn't it? <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Harry, you're back with the late look north tonight as part of the BBC News at 10. Join us then if you bye can. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ken Keeley. Yeah, the latest forecast does have an improvement for the weekend, at least till the end of Sunday. More on that in a second. Uh, tomorrow, becoming increasingly warm and humid. The greater risk of catching a shower tomorrow uh, compared with today. And here's that weather front, which is going to stall in the west, hopefully, and only push uh, towards our part of the world through the day on Sunday. So a deterioration on Sunday, but at the moment, Saturday looks like a little bit better. A lot of cloud out there at the moment. A warm, muggy night to come. A little bit of showery rain in one or two spots. And temperatures dropping back to around 17 or 18 degrees, so an uncomfortable night for some. A lot of cloud to start the day tomorrow, some drizzle for the hills. We should see some brighter skies like today. The greater risk of catching a shower, but they will be very hit and miss, and there will also be a lot of dry weather, but becoming increasingly humid. Temperatures getting up to around 22 or 23 degrees. A cloudy start on Saturday, but it should be largely dry. The best of the brightness in the east, warm, that rain returning on Sunday. I'll leave you with the summary. Then, weather this weekend, is it a bit difficult to predict. It is incredibly difficult to predict. At the moment, most of Yorkshire through most of Saturday will be okay and a lot of Sunday will as well, but the details could change a little bit and there will be some heavy rain at some point over the weekend. This afternoon, variable cloud, thickest in the west. It's going to feel increasingly humid as the afternoon goes on. So a lot of cloud across uh, most of the UK, actually. The best of any breaks in the east, so we will have some bright, possibly sunny spells away from the hills. Across the hills, a little bit of dampness, particularly if you're on the western side, and there could be the odd shower anyway but generally a largely dry warm afternoon to come humid with a moderate southerly breeze and temperatures getting up to 21 or 22 degrees so through this evening, any holes in the cloud, I think, will fill in. And we are going to see this weather front, which is slung across the northwestern parts of, of the country, really start to pep up a bit. And we'll see some heavier spells across western parts and northern parts. And into tomorrow morning, I think everywhere will have a lot of cloud and there will be some dampness around even further east. A warm night, 16 or 17 degrees. So a lot of clouds through the morning. There'll be some patchy rain, perhaps not reaching the coast, but most places will have a little rain in the morning. It will retreat away northwards, slowest to do so across the dales. So actually for a good portion of tomorrow, a lot of Yorkshire will have a lot of dry weather, the best of any brightness towards the southeast. And it will feel warm as well tomorrow. Temperatures getting up, particularly in the southeast, 23, 24 degrees, a little bit cooler the further northwest you are.
And then as we head through Saturday night into Sunday, some very heavy thunderstorms. But actually, a good deal of Sunday will be dry. It'll brighten up with some warm spells of sunshine, that thundery rain developing later. So an awful lot going on. That looks like rain, thunder, lightning and black clouds for my barbecue And some sunshine in but overnight temperatures getting up to around 17 or 18 degrees. 17 is 63 Fahrenheit. So the sun will rise in the morning at 5.56, setting again at 8.21. Your next high water's coming up over the next couple of hours along our coastline in Scarborough at 17 minutes past nine. So to start the day tomorrow, there will be a lot of cloud around and there will still be outbreaks of rain. But gradually this weather front is going to push away northwestwards. Now I'm not saying it's going to be completely dry through the day, but we are going to see a lot of dry and bright weather spreading northwards. The best of the sunshine, the further south and the further east you go. And it is going to feel warm out there too. Uh, temperatures above average for the time of year. Also feeling quite stuffy, I think, quite humid. Uh, temperatures uh, 23 to I imagine around 25 degrees. If you've got up to 24 today, I think given any decent spells of sunshine, 24 or 25 degrees across parts of South Yorkshire. So certainly not out of the question. So moving forward into Sunday, well actually on Saturday evening we should see a rash of very heavy thundery showers pushing up probably down the spine of the country, so affecting parts of West and North Yorkshire, so there could be some heavy thundery downpours then. Then that will clear away and a lot of Sunday, even though it will be quite breezy, will be warm and sunny. And then later on Sunday we'll see that weather system curling round, pushing up northwards again, and that will produce some thundery downpours. But at the moment it doesn't look like it's going to be until after dark on Sunday. So if you are planning anything outdoors, keep up to date with the forecast for Sunday because it could change. There has been a lot of uncertainty. But at the moment there should be some dry, bright day weather on both days, 